Hi, I'm Dan Vaida, film and stage actor from Transylvania, Romania, who moved to North America to pursue my career. Today, I'll talk about another mistake that filmmakers make. This is a part of a series, and I want to talk about the topic. So, not once when I'm, I'm looking for independent projects that I want to be part of, I come across different project breakdowns, let's call them, or descriptions of the projects. And uh, it's just mind-blowing when, when you see how little substance that project has how little depth the project has. And um, I know I'm going to be very harsh in this video, but the truth has to be told. And um, I, I really stand by it and I think it's really important. I mean, what are they thinking? Those filmmakers who want to make a film most likely they're going to put thousands of dollars of their hard-owned money. They're going to put time, effort, energy, because it's really, really hard to make a movie. It's not just the filming, it's the preparation, finding the locations, getting the, the permits, finding the props, the costumes, then hiring the actors, then doing the post-production, doing all that, even if it's a short film. And then the topic, it's so, I, I, I don't even know how to describe it, so silly, That's, I'll just use a light word, so, so silly, without depth, without um, any weight to it. I mean, what, what, what are they thinking? I mean, there are, there are topics like, um, yeah, it's a dragon who likes to eat apples and then when it rains the dragon turns pink and then chases some kids and kids run away and then the parents call the school principal to find the kids and then the kids ate pears and then they change color into... Uh, I mean, it's just stupid. It's just so, so... I said I won't use a heavy word, okay. <laughs> it's has no depth, has no no nothing behind it. I mean I don't see that doing well in festivals. Prove me wrong. If you know anybody that does well in festivals with with things like that, just let me know. Or or you will see topics like um that you've seen many, many times before and usually men, men filmmakers are guilty of that, they, they um, come up with some topics when like a, a bad guy shoots a good guy and the good guy shoots the bad guy and then the revenge and then wants to uh, go and, on a killing spree and it's just testosterone. There's no brain there, there's no, it's nothing else. It's just pure testosterone on paper and then will be on... On, on camera or on a screen. That's all it is. It's zero brain, zero depth, no soul, has no soul, has zero. I'm imagining people who's, who want to be filmmakers, they're artists. They have some sensitivity. They are perceiving the problems of the world. For example, where I live, there's, I think one in five kids go to bed hungry. And is it's one of the richest areas of the country where I live. Why don't they make a movie about that? Or um, I don't know. Recently, for example, that this is a very very good example of a good movie. I made a. I as an actor, I was part of a project as an actor of a film about a single mom who's an immigrant. She's raising a kid, and then she comes across different um, challenges. Let's, let's make it short. Different challenges. 
that a single mom who's an immigrant will face. So yes, that one does well in festivals. It's also well directed. There are great actors in it. Well, I'm one of them, of course, and modest actors. I'm the most modest one, too. But that topic will do well in festivals because it talks about a real painful problem that a lot of people can ad identify with. If you're not a single mo mother who, who's been to, through that, maybe you're the son of the, or the daughter of a single mother, maybe you know somebody who's in that similar situation. I mean, just look around. Artists have to be very in tune with the life around them. And filmmakers are that are they're making mistakes, are making that mistake of not being in tune with what's around them, not being open, not reflecting what's around them, and then they stay in their bubble, I guess, during uh, sitting in their basement and smoking joint the whole time and playing computer games, and then they want to make a film, and they make a film that has no connection with anything. So that's the solution, how you fix it. Open your eyes, see what's around you, open your heart, see what truly speaks to you on, on, in a deep way, in a, at, in a deep level, and focus on, on those topics and make a movie out of that. Or, or if you want to be speculative and politic, look at um, films that do well in festivals and see what kind of topics they, they approach and maybe use that as a guideline if you want to be speculative. But I would say start from the heart and go with what you see around you and, you know, maybe you feel it's a bit of an injustice there and you want to point the, your light, your artistic light to a problem that you want to be vanished in, in the society. Because I think we, we should all be that. Or if, if you don't feel that, then don't be a filmmaker. Go do something else. Be an accountant or, you know, something else where you don't have to open your heart as much because you're just wasting your, your resources, time, energy, and effort. And yeah, when I see those kind of projects, I don't even submit myself because it's, it's just stupid. So that's the my my rant and my 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 rent and also my tip my hint for today thank you for watching and if you have any questions please subscribe uh, please um, comment in the section below or ask the question if you have any questions don't forget to subscribe to my channel that's how you support me and also don't just press the subscribe button please also press the notification bell and you have three options there press all so you get notif notified when uh, I post on uh, my vi uh, next video. Again, thank you for watching.